Hey, what's up guys? It's me, Jordan, or the Fear Razor, and I'd like to welcome you to another story video. But before we get into it, guys, I thought I would just wish you all a happy Thanksgiving. I hope you guys are excited and have a fantastic day with your families, and I hope you all enjoy that scrumptious meal because it's gonna be the best thing you've ever tasted. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I just made everybody uncomfortable, but seriously have a great day And if you're not celebrating Thanksgiving today, then still have a great day because I'm not a mean guy I want everybody to just have a good day, okay? Also guys, I thought I would briefly touch up on the server I'm playing on right now. It's called play.royallegacy.us It's an incredible server guys. I've honestly I've never had so much fun on a server like this one because it's got a mini game Okay, it's got a mini game called bending it's got other mini games too, but this one specifically is what you're seeing in the video right now. It's called Bending. It's based on the show Avatar The Last Airbender or Legend of Korra. You essentially go and you pick the element that you want to control. I control fire in this one. Uh, you can pick from earth, wind, and water, and you straight up go in arena or you can go in the survival and straight up just find players, uh, have these epic battles and stuff, which again you're seeing down in this video. I get. Uh, I lose a lot, I, uh, I'm not gonna lie, um, but it was really cool, it was really fun, so if you guys wanna hop on this server and check it out, and hey, maybe you might just see me on this server, and we could play some bending, and you know, some of, of the other great mini games that this server has as well, so hopefully you guys hop on and enjoy it, the link is down in the description below. Alright guys, now it's time for the story you've all been waiting for, so if you didn't know what I usually do with these stories, I like to feature my top three picks from the previous story that I told on my last st uh, video uh, story video <laughs> I essentially picked the, the top three comments from the previous story and I put it up onto this one so those are gonna go up right now if you guys want to leave a story in the comment section below it could possibly get featured in the next story so hopefully you guys enjoy this story and if you do I would totally appreciate it if you dropped a like on this video because it boosts my self-esteem <laughs> Okay, so this story takes place, I want to say, maybe six years ago, and it happened out of nowhere because it was a really, really random day. So essentially what happened was I was home, I was playing some games, actually, if I remember correctly, I was actually, um, I was actually on World of Warcraft, uh, <laughs> I, uh, I had no life for two years, guys, um, but I'm proud of that. I'm proud of that. <laughs> but anyways, yeah, I remember I was playing World of Warcraft or a game or something, and I get a knock at the door. I'm like, okay, who could this be? So I go downstairs, I open the door, and lo and behold, it's two people from my school, from my grade, that I don't really hang out with, ever. Um, and oddly enough, these two guys weren't exactly friends with each other either, which was, which was weirding me out, so we had this... We had this triangle of three people who don't really talk much, but for, but, for, but for some reason, sorry, my lips are like super dry right now, but for some reason, these guys, both of them came to my door, and they asked me to hang out with them, so I was a little weirded out, I'm not gonna lie, I was like, um, why? Like, what are you guys doing here? Uh, like, do you want money? <laughs> no, I, I'm joking, um, but seriously, it was weird, because I was like, why are you guys here? And they asked me to hang out, and, you know, for some reason, I was like, you know what, sure, let's let's hang out. Maybe something cool will come out of this. So, you know, we hang out. It's cool at first, you know? It's interesting, and uh, the night's going well. But we keep walking down, and from my old house, where I used to live back home, down the road a bit, there's a trailer park area where people live. And we ended up walking in there, so I'm like, okay, a little weird, but still, okay, this conversation's cool. And we're just talking. But then my friend, you know, he hauls out something out of his book bag. And what he hauled out, from what I remember, was eggs, okay? A lot of you were thinking drugs. A lot of you guys were thinking I was gonna say, yeah, I did a bit of drugs and stuff. I was a, I was a weird kid. No, he hauled out eggs out of his backpack. And apparently, him and this other guy wanted to egg some trailers. And they asked me to be a part of this when obviously I did not come outside to hang out with these guys to egg people's houses and straight up they started egging houses I had I wanted nothing to do with it because I did not want to be in trouble or anything but this is one of those times that I learned that it doesn't matter if you do the act it's being a part of the act in general gets you in trouble so if you're ever with your friends and they're doing something bad and you're not doing it with them but you're still there 
you are still just as bad. So, yeah. Anyways, so they were egging a few houses and stuff like that. I was just kind of going with them. And we were, like, being stupid and laughing and stuff like that. And then there was, uh, there was a time they ran out of eggs. So we were walking around. And I remember this very clearly. And it's kind of funny, but it's not. There was this, there was this old man, okay? He was, uh, he was in his, like, trailer area. And in the front the, um, of the house, trailer house thing... It was all glass, so you could literally see inside this guy's living room. You could see this guy, he fell asleep on the couch, he was watching TV, he had like a beer on the table, so it was like that. So my friend's like, oh man, dude, like I'm, I'm totally gonna, like, I'm totally gonna jump in front of that, in front of him and like scare him. So he runs over there and he starts doing these weird like gestures and stuff and starts like hiding in front of the, this man's like house, this man's trailer. And he ends up waking him up, and he actually scared the crap out of him, which was funny watching it, but it was super mean. And anyways, he scared the crap out of him, and then the guy actually came out of his house and chased us away. So that was kind of fun um, and exhilarating, but it was also really bad. I'm not in any way, shape, or form suggesting you do this, because you will get in trouble. Don't do this. <laughs> but uh, yeah, so anyways, this guy goes back, and he ends up doing it again. This guy ends up falling asleep again, and he does it again. So, this time though, he called the cops. This old man called the cops on us. So, we didn't know that though. So, we were walking around, still in this trailer park area, and this cop car comes up to us, you know, had the lights on and everything. And then he gets out of the car and starts asking us questions. He's like, um, we've, I've heard a disturbance here. Um, a few kids apparently are causing trouble here. Which, you know, obviously, three kids standing in front of this officer, we kind of fit the bill, if you know what I mean. And I was freaking out. Like, I didn't freak out to the cop or anything, but I was like, oh my god, I'm in, we're so screwed. Like, what is going on with this night? And it was crazy. Uh, one of my, one of the guys with me was actually gonna run. And I was like, dude, don't you, don't freaking run. Like, that's gonna make it even worse. But anyways, you know, we were talking to the cop. And, uh, yeah, he was, you know, asking if we saw anything, and I didn't speak at all. Literally, my friend spoke and just said, no, 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 we're just, you know, walking around, blah, blah, blah. And, uh, yeah, anyways, we chatted with the cop for a bit, and then he just eventually took off. He probably knew it was us, honestly, but he just didn't say anything. I don't know. But either way, he said, if you see them or if you are, if you are the ones doing it, stop or something like that. It was like a simple warning. And, you know, he drove off. So, again, and like, again, guys, this, this memory is really hard. This story is really hard to remember because this happened such a long time ago. But essentially, the cop ended up driving away for whatever reason. And uh, that was the end of the night. And, you know, I was like, what the hell was this? You know, what? wow, guys, like. I didn't really know what to say, but nonetheless, we never hung out again. All three of us, it was the weirdest time, it was the weirdest thing ever, but neither of us hung out with each other ever again. So that was the story, guys, and uh, yeah, it could have potentially gotten bad, but it didn't, so thank goodness for that. But anyways, guys, if you enjoyed this story, be sure to, again, leave a like on the video and also leave a comment in the comment section below. Do you guys have a story that you want featured in my next story? Be sure to leave it down there. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching, and I will see you guys in the next video.